All right, Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. First off, I want to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who are well and has taught us this truth. Citation to the hopeful elect, the Akim, out here laboring the truth of sincerity on the four corners of the earth, understanding in the banner of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Hashem is in the name. Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. All right. And that was said in the Lashuan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. And Paleo goes back to ancient. So that's the ancient Hebrew. All right. And this is Brother Korab here from the GMS Boston camp. You know, just want to touch on a quick lesson. And I pray in Lord's will that this lesson be edified. All right. And just real quick, touch on something real quick. You know, as I was scrolling through, uh, I stumbled across this article pertaining to a uh, protest in, uh, in South Africa. All right, and I'm going to read it. It says, South African University, Salakia. South African University transformed into a blazing battleground as protest turns ugly. Students at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa set up flaming barricades and pelted police with various missiles as demonstration against fees spirals into violence. The skirmish broke out as students staged protests against paying 15% of historic debt accrued by the university as well as perceived financial exclusion. All right. And I'm going to just play the video real quick. All right. You know, you got, you got a few more other videos which I'm going to just touch on. Now, law, shifa stel, property score like damage. But shanga match. All right, and as you can see, man, like uh, you have people protesting, and, and protesters are tur going on um, turning into violent, violent protesters because you know. Um, the people are getting fed up, you know. The people are getting fed up uh, with 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 the government and and and, and, and you know their leaders bullshitting them. All right, you know they 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 and as they said they paying they paying fees or paying fifteen percent of historic debt recruited by the university. All right, so it's like you know you have people already don't even have anything. You know they they they're basically scratching the surface just to make a living. You know, but then you still have the, the Esau Edom, you still have uh, uh, not just only Esau Edom, but you have these other um, other because because it all goes back to the so-called white man. It all goes back to their, them being in the power. All right. And them sitting up their democracy and, and philosophies and pushing it across the earth, you know, it's so much that these other nations that adopted the ways and took on the traits of the so-called white man, you know, so. With that, you know, these people are fighting back. Now they now they on their last leg and they have to fight back because, you know, they're tired of these uh, of being oppressed. They're tired of being um, you know, uh, at the bottom of the totem pole with, with nothing to give. All right. And and that's why you're having these skirmishes going on across the whole world, you know, which is which is ideal and a key thing because this is this is showing proof that the world need is in need for new rulership, man. The world is in need for new rulers and a, a new management. All right, because right now the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right, which I'm gonna grab here. All right, Job nine and twenty four. It reads, "The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He cover the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, and the wicked is talking about Esau, Edom. All right, and when you go into Malachi, the first chapter." It goes in saying, and I'm going to just jump straight to the point. It says, um, all right, uh, verse 3, and this is uh, Salakia, verse 4. This is Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will turn and build a desolate place, places. That said, that said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw it out. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. All right, so Esau, Edom, the Edomites, uh, the people 
uh, are, are the wicked and, and the people who the Lord had indignation forever. All right. And hence why he goes and he spreads uh, that Babylon juice and, he, and, and, and uh, these nations drink up that, that, that wine, you know, and they're drunken with that wine. So and hence they take on these same attributes, you know, and, and that's why uprises and, and, and protests is taking place. But this is all part of prophecy, you know, and you know how much more for when it hits America. All right, the 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 chief place, you know, the 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 hammer of the earth, you know, when it hits uh, Babylon, you know, it's gonna be even more worse because the protest here is gonna be bigger because now you see all these other nations that are going through it, but you see people in America still, people still in Babylon still comforted, they're still partying and bullshit, you know, but they're gonna have a rude awakening, and when that rude awakening hit, guess what? When all hell breaks loose, you know, it ain't no turning back. That's the as the scripture goes into. So what I'm gonna grab is I'm gonna grab um second Ezra's nine and one. Because this is still counting, this is still this is still us measuring the time and this is still us looking into prophecy. Alright? Because these things have to continue to take place, man. The Lord said the end is not yet, pertaining on to Matthew twenty fourth chapter. Wars and rumors of wars and all these things, but he said the the end is not it, and not yet, you know. So all these things have to come, all right. This is um Second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou see parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein wherein the highest will be begin to visit the world which he made, all right. So this is this is the most high visit in the world which he made, all right. It says. Um, therefore, when when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right, and once again, as you see in that protest, is the uproars of the people. All right, that's what's taking place. All right, so let me go to um another precept. We're going to second as the fifteenth chapter. All right. Second as was fifteen. I'm gonna just jump straight to the point. All right. And it said, um, second as was fifteen and fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with sword in their hand. For there shall be sedition among men. All right? And sedition among men. Let's look at that word sedition. All right? It's a lot, yeah. All right? It says, it says, in, in, incitement. Of resistance to or insurrection against lawful authorities. All right. And that's what's taking place. You know, you have the people stepping up and fighting against the police, you know, uh, uh, not 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 following the laws, which was a, a, a place before them. You know, they starting to take matters into their own hand, as the scripture goes in to say. All right. So I'm going to grab it again. This is um. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. The course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. So when it says it's not going to uh, regard their kings nor princes, the government is going to the, the 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 senators and the governments and the presidents going to get on TV and tell them to chill out or whatever the case is. But guess what? These people uh, are not going to hear it. These people are not going to obey because they they're fed up and 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 now you know. It's getting to the point where people have to take the action into their own hands, take matters into their own hands, because if they don't step up and do something, guess what? They 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 they're through, you know. So they have to step up and, and prove a point. All right, they're gonna they're gonna continue to to fight against the government until until somehow they meet meet on common grounds. But as we know, it, this is this is this is all prophecy. It's not there's not gonna be any common ground. All right. This is what's going to take place across the whole earth. You're going to have more of these protests taking place. You're going to have more earthquakes, earthquakes locking, have more uh, uh, destruction, death, you know, uh, pestilence, you know, uh, diseases. All these different things is going to be uh, across the four, the four corners of the earth, the four winds of the earth. All right. That's why, you know, 
This is all, once again, it's all prophecy. And prophecy is to say before it happened, as the scriptures just mentioned. It says, you know, back in um back in uh second Ezra 9, it says, read it one more time. It says, all right, um, Verse three, saying nine and three, it says, "Therefore, when that shall see, shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of, of the people in the world, then shall we we'll understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee." All right, and prophesied to say something before it happened. All right, even from the beginning, the Lord said He declared the end from the beginning. So these things is already uh, foretold by way of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, and it was given to His men to declare this message. All right, and, and hence why. The prophecies are coming to pass. When you read, um, let me grab it real quick. Habakkuk 2. All right. And this is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 1. All right. And I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he was saying to me and what I, sh what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right, and that's talking about the prophecies. The visions is the prophecies that's coming to pass. This is at the end it shall speak and not lie. And in what time are we in? We're in the time of the end. All right, we're in the time of the end. This is, uh, um, you know, the year 2020, the year of prophecy. All right, and it says, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come and will not tarry. And as you see, this is the second month of um, second month of the year 2020, you know, and, and look, you know, still, the prophecies are still rolling through. All right, so just with that, you know, just wanted to touch on a short lesson, do a little short lesson on that article real quick, just to show you that these things are still, still uh, intensifying, you know, the people are still getting, you know, they're going to get roused up even more. You know, come against these governments and their government, you know, and, 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 you know, make that point, try to make that point be heard. But, you know, once again, it's all prophecy and it's more to come. So with that, I want to give all praises on the good. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Ha'ashim, Ba'ashim, Ha'ashim, That bonds to my apostle and elders, great millstone, who one who's taught us the truth. Citations, hold for luck. And with that, I want to say Shalom and Ababa Ba'ashim.